what's up guys welcome back to another video uh today i'm gonna be replacing my clutch master cylinder let me show you guys why so um i noticed like when i would drive like the clutch pedal would be like sticky like to come back up so i took a look down here to see to see what's going on and then i see the masks are all gunky like that i knew that my um my fluid was like really bad i was gonna change it and then this happened so that usually happens when you don't change the fluid and like you destroy your master and it ends up looking like that so i'm just gonna change the master put some new fluid in and call it a day so the first thing you got to do is empty out your master cylinder um i emptied it already i just took a turkey basin and sucked out all the fluid and then put a paper towel in there to soak up anything that's left um then we're gonna take out this line that line was a 10 millimeter uh it's just a 10 millimeter wrench i uh, got the line off and just move it out the way uh next what we're gonna do is we're gonna so i don't know if you guys can see there is a bolt this right here is a bolt that goes through the clutch pedal and has a it's hard to tell with the gunk but it has a little pin and uh it's like a the bolt has a hole in it and then the pin like locks it in so it doesn't clutch pedal doesn't like move so it doesn't like move out of there so that pin we need to remove that pin with uh some needle nose pliers and then move that bolt out and then that'll free up the massive cylinder but first you need to take off these two 12s you see the blue blue bolt there's one here and then one up there you guys can kind of see that yeah right there so i took the two bolts that hold in the master to the core to the firewall now what we're gonna do is take this pin out so let me show you guys let me see if i can do it on the camera so i got some needle nose needle nose pliers we're gonna just pull it down So I took this little stupid clip out. So let me show you how I did it. I grabbed one of these pick tools. I was putting pressure holding it down. I like put this little flathead and expanded the clip so it could go over the bolt. So once, once I put it like that, it could just drop straight through. But I had to, I had to like play around with it. It's a little tricky, but this worked for me like i tried pulling it all day it won't come out if you just pull it now i have to push this bolt out okay got the bolt out this is the master now the master is free and i could finally take it out of the other side of the under the hood side and put the new one in you want to make sure you see how gunky it is you want to make sure to clean it before you put this back in. Yuck. Now that we got that out, we should just be able to pull on the master. And it will be free. Let's pull it straight out. This is the new one and the old one. Look how much gunk was in there ridiculous that's what happens when you don't flush out your fluid you should be doing this like every two years every two or three years flushing it out if not you mess up the piston in here and that's it you're gonna have to replace it let me throw the new one back in and basically do everything reverse order the master cylinder comes with a, a seal 
Mine is just <laughs> stuck on the car. But I'm gonna just reuse it since I don't see any wear or you know cuts or anything. You should buy a new one, but I'm just gonna reuse mine. Yeah, I'm sending it. Clean it off before you put it in. Uh, when you put the new master in, you wanna put it in this orientation so that the bolt could go through. You don't wanna, you know, be playing around with it. It could turn easily, but you just wanna put it the way it goes. So it goes sort of like this. You just push it in, line them up with the holes. Make sure it goes, it seats good. Watch out for the for the old line, it might get stuck. Just rock it back and forth until it sits. And it should be good. Uh, make sure to take the cap off. It usually comes with a cap, that cap right there. Make sure to take it off so you can put the line back in. Push thin all the way. I'm down here and make sure this is like pushed in sometimes it gets stuck like between the pedal so as you can see there's a hole in the clutch pedal for the master to go through so just line it up once you you can leave it like that and then push it in it'll, it'll sit all the way flat I put the bolt in you see how it's like squared the 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 head of the bolt is squared so it can only go in like flipped around like it can only go in a certain way how it is now once you put in the bolt in just like one as you're pushing it in like move this around so it could go in freely um yeah so now we're gonna put in the pin to lock it in so same as taking it off i'm gonna push this into the hole and push all the way up See, did it with my finger, pushed it up with my finger, and it's locked in. You'll hear like a click once it's all the way in. This is how it is. The pen is all the way up. Now we just gotta put the bolts on the hold the mass on the firewall. I got the bolts back in. Everything is good on this side. You wanna just double check your work, make sure everything's tight, everything's in, clip is in, bolts pushed all the way in uh, bolts are tight on the master and that's it we're done here what we're gonna do next we're gonna put the the clutch line back in in the master and then fill it up uh, make sure there's no leaks and then we'll bleed the system and down let the master fill with fluid uh, now what we're gonna do we're gonna go down to the slave there should be a, a bleed uh, screw we're gonna open it up and just grab it and bleed it. So what that means, we're just gonna pour fluid, open the bleed screw, and it'll just, with gravity, it'll just, the air will just go down. We just gotta make sure the fluid is always topped off. And then we just let that cycle through the line um, because this is just one simple line, this whole clutch system. It's just, it's easy to bleed that way. So I'm gonna do that, keep it topped off. Yeah, let me show you where the uh, where the bleed screw is at. And if you go under your car, see this screw right here? Uh, this is the bleed screw for your for your clutch fluid. So what we're gonna do, it has a little cap. We're gonna take the cap off. It's an eight millimeter. We gotta make sure that the master cylinder is topped off, right? So once we take that off, once we break that loose, we're gonna have fluid coming down. So we're just gonna have a steady stream of fluid coming down, so be prepared for that. So as you can see, we're getting a steady stream, which we gotta make sure we have enough um, brake fluid in the top. Then you just keep topping it off. And that's that. Clean any mess you may have made, put some brake fluid on there. Um, tying down your bleed screw, put the cap on if you have one. And now we're gonna go back to the master cylinder. The fluid is full. Come in the car. And just 
just pump it. The first times is gonna be like soft. Um, you gotta build the pressure on the on the master. So pump about I'm gonna say like 30 times, and then we're gonna repeat this process again. So we're gonna do the same gravity bleeding again. So once you did that again, come here, make sure it's topped off. Once it's topped off, come back in the car, give it a few pumps, see how it feels. Yeah, I feel it feels way uh, stiffer. Give it a few pumps and then, yeah, you should be good. After you do all of that, uh, make sure to take it on a test drive. Um, roll through all the gears, make sure it's good on your test drive. And yeah, that's how you change your clutch master cylinder and bleed your clutch.